Hey what's up guys so finally One UI 8 is available on Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and in this video I'm gonna show you some of the best new features of this new software update and I'll be sharing some of my favorite features later on in this video so make sure that you watch it till the end and with that let's get started. With One UI 8 we get a new updated weather app so if you go in the weather app you will now see these really cool hyper realistic animations which look absolutely fantastic and depending on the weather it will show you the effects as well so if it's raining it will show you the rain going on the weather app and it has these different animations and effects for different times of the day so if i just scroll through different cities you will see different kinds of animations for different weathers it is absolutely fantastic if you have two apps open in multi window in one ui 8 you can now do the 90 10 split so you can move one app all the way to the edge of the display and then you can just tap on the other app to move between these two apps so this allows you to multitask between uh, two apps very quickly and switch between these two screen sizes ai select is also much faster now so if you open ai select from the edge panel you don't have to wait for it to load you can just select the portion of the display and get contextual settings whereas before you had to wait for the ai select to load on the display and then you could select any part of the display my files app has also received a fantastic new update so if you go in my files and then go in downloads you will see this filter at the top where you can see all the apps from where you have downloaded stuff and you can very quickly find what you're looking for going through these apps alarm widgets has also received a fantastic new update where now you can set a widget for the group alarm as well so here i have an alarm widget and if i tap on it it will take me to the alarms and here i can select the group alarm which is the morning alarm and it will now connect with the widget and with just one tap i can turn on this group alarm or turn it off there's a really cool update in the camera app as well so if you go in the camera app and then go in settings and scroll down you will see this swipe to preview up or down button go in here and you can now change it to open quick controls once you select that and go back when you'll swipe up you will now see that these controls come up and if you swipe up again they will disappear same goes with swiping down in one ui 8 we also get the new dynamic clock so if we set this dynamic clock you will see that it takes on the form of the subject in the photo and it looks pretty cool so to set it up all you have to do is go in wallpapers go in lock screen wallpaper and here tap on the clock and you need to select this one which changes shape this is the dynamic clock and this is the only one that does this and from here you can increase or decrease the thinness of this clock and you can change the color from here as well and then all you have to do is set it up in a way that it takes on the form of the edges of the subject in the photo and once you're done press done and you're all good to go moving on we also get the new audio eraser feature in the gallery so if you open gallery and open any video and you start playing it you will now see this audio eraser button at the bottom right of the display and when you will tap it you will notice a considerable difference in the audio cleanup so now i'm going to tap on it and it is erasing noise in real time and now you can notice that the noise level has gone significantly down in this video and that is how this feature works we also get call captions in one ui 8 so if you go in the dialer go in settings here you will see this new setting called call captions go in here and you can turn it on and once you'll turn it on it will show you what each person says on the screen during calls captions can be useful when hearing is difficult if needed inform the other person that the call is being captioned so you can use it to caption your calls now moving on call recording has also been organized a little better so now if you have recorded a particular call you can go in recents you can open that call history and you will see this mic button which means that this call was recorded and when you tap on this button here it will give you the playback controls and you can listen to this recording straight from uh, this call history you don't need to 
find the call recording in the recordings or in the settings app now brief is now also available on galaxy s24 ultra as part of one ui 8 and you can access it from the edge panel and tap on now brief and there you go it will also appear as a now bar on the lock screen and you can also set it up as a widget in one ui 8 reminder app has also been updated so if you go in the reminders app you will see this new interface where we now get categories at the top at all times then Below that, we get some of these sample reminders that you can tap on them and edit them and very quickly set your reminders. And then finally, one more thing that they've added here is you can just type your reminders, date and time, and it will set your reminder. So when you type the day or the time, it will highlight in blue and then you can just tap on the reminder it will be set for that day and time talking about reminders let's talk about calendar which has also been updated so now you can also add events as well as reminders from the calendar app so if you tap on this plus button you will get these two tabs at the top of the display and from here i can add event or i can also add the reminder i can also manage my reminders from the calendar app calculator app has also received an update so if you go in the calculator app you can now use the scientific mode in the portrait mode in the calendar app you don't need to go into the landscape mode anymore if you go in internet and tap on the settings button you get these permanent settings at the top which gives you quick access to your most frequently used settings you can also edit these quick access settings from the settings menu moving on if you use galaxy ai to translate or summarize content in any app you can now access the translated or summarized content side by side with the original content and i want to show you an example of this in the samsung internet and then tap on galaxy ai and summarize this page the summary will appear on the side and i can still see the original content on the left side and i have the summary on the right side next up if you go in the samsung notes app and you open a new note you can tap on this plus button and now you can add sticky notes to any note so if i tap on this sticky note it will appear up and i can type pretty much anything here and then you can minimize it you can move it around to any place on this page you can also add multiple sticky notes so if i tap on this plus button again i can add another sticky note type something here I can change the color and I can also change the size of the sticky note and minimize it. So you can have several sticky notes on one page. Moving on in One UI 8, if you have Galaxy Buds connected to your phone, you can now access their settings in the settings app right at the top of the settings. So here my Galaxy Buds 3 settings are available and I can tap on them and go straight in the settings. They have been moved from the Galaxy Wear app. If we go in settings and then go in modes and routines, you can go in discover and you will find some new routines here, which are weather routines. And you can go in here, you can go through them, edit them and very quickly set your routines. And if you want to set a new routine, you will now find some new action options. So if you go down here, you will see that now you also get access to calendar, clock and Samsung notes. Samsung Dex has also received a new update where you can now add widgets to your home screen while your phone is connected via Dex to your connected display. And another improvement that has been made to Samsung Dex is that now it gives you more options when you're connected to an external monitor where you can optimize the display resolution up to WQHD and rotate the display 90, 180 or 270 degrees.